हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट एक्स कंप्यूटर एकेडमी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट सम स्टैटिस्टिकल मेथड्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ नम पाई लाइब्रेरी टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन टू नम पाई ओके सो द कंटेंट टुडे वी कवर्ड what is numpy why we use numpy and then how to install numpy and in numpy what is an array and how to create it okay so what is numpy first of all numpy is a python package okay you already aware about if you are using java there is a lot of package same thing happen in python also there are various packages are available in python numpy is one of them as the name suggest what it is numpy stands for numerical python so it means in this package or library all the mathematics operations or functions are in built stored you have to only use directly so numpy was created in 2005 by travis and the basic functionality of numpy is working with arrays as we know that in the earlier lectures we see that there are some classes like list tuples which can be used as an array but they are not holding the whole functionality of an array so if you want to use an array then what is to be done you have to include numpy package in your program clear how we will see in the later stage now second point is it is an open source which means it is very much free to all of you secondly numpy is often used along with scipy and matplotlib library in the previous lecture i already show you the use of scipy in numpy okay when we have to calculate the mode there is no such function in numpy but with the help of scipy there is a method through which you can find out the mode of a particular data set clear and as we know that if we can create an array then there there are various operation can be performed either mathematical or logical without any issue so i think it is very clear what is numpy numpy is a package which is used for numerical methods and they are working with arrays data set now why we use numpy if we already say that there is a list data type through which you can create a similar type of an array so 
why there is another thing to serve an array there are some basic difference between list and numpy array what it is in list it is slow to process but in numpy array they are 50 times faster than python list again second thing is in list we can store heterogeneous type of data while in numpy array we have to use similar type of data only or if you use different type of data forcefully then python interpreter automatically converts it into a single type of data okay third thing is numpy arrays are stored at contiguous memory location okay but in list data are stored in different places that's why it is slow than the numpy array so now we know about the importance of numpy array now how to install numpy if we have python interpreter installed in it and pip in the system then installation of numpy is very easy what is to be done you have to use go to the command prompt and then type pip install numpy and if this command fails it means that either python are not installed properly or pip is not supportable by your operating system so you have to take care about that how i have already installed so i have to uninstall it so i am not going to do this i am simply giving you an overview how to check so go to the control panel in control panel there is program and features see it whether python 3.6 or other installed on your computer or not if it is click on uninstall a dialog box will appear where they ask i think i'm going to cancel it okay it will take time till then go to the start type cmd command prompt command prompt will open you have to check whether pip is installed or, or not so i typed pip it will take time it will show that pip is installed and all the option will appear otherwise it directly show you that pip is not recognizable by the operating system okay so here it means 
if this is shown to you then it means everything is okay in your system so what is to be right pip install numpy and press enter okay as shown here what it is requirement already satisfied why because i have already installed pip so whenever i open my python interpreter and check import numpy as np it will take some some time to import all the pack classes and functions in your program here now it means you can use any function available in numpy directly okay so now so you have to check whether python is installed or not second thing you have to check in command prompt whether pip is installed or not now once numpy is installed import it in your application by adding the import keyword like this i have done like this why because i wanted to use numpy as an alias name that is np alias means alternative name okay now moving on further what is numpy array you all know about the array array is a contiguous memory location in which similar type of data can be stored that's it so in numpy it is called nd array and it is achieved with the help of function array all the elements of the numpy array must be of same type all the functionality that you know already are done with numpy array that is indexing can be done all the operation like addition multiplication division can be performed okay so you have to learn about what array object in numpy is called nd array and how to create it with the help of array function now how to create it it is very simple first thing you have to import then variable name equal to np dot function name array and in array you have to pass the list of elements so if you do this you can see here i am going to check what type of data it is type of arr so it shows that it is type of nd array so it means the object is created against the class nd array so you know that if you use bracket then it means it is a list you can also pass a tuple in the array function like this 1 2 3 4 the same thing can be happen so it is very easy and this is a one dimensional array so if you want to create two dimensional array you have to pass 
two elements like this. You have to supply comma between them and all the elements are covered by again a, a curl, sorry, a bracket. So here you can see that two dimensional array, first column, second column, first row, second row. Okay. And like this, third 3D array and ND array can be created. But for you, for the 11th class student, there's only need to learn about how to create 1D array and 2D array. Now, Another type of creating arrays. First thing is, we can create an array with all elements initialized to zero. How? With the function zeros. You have to use np.0 and supply the size. Two rows, two columns. So here you can see that all the elements are filled automatically by default with zero. Another function is ones. With the help of ones, array can be created with by default value one, like this np dot ones two comma two. So two dimensional array are created, two rows and two columns. And all the columns are filled with value 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now, next function is arrange. It is not English word arrange. It is a range. It means you are going to supply some value as a range. And that is the stop value minus one. Okay. So here you can see that NP dot arrange six. Six is the stop value. So it start with from zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Six minus one, that is five. So here array is created. Now in the second one, I supplied two things, start and stop value. So it start with 10 and go towards 14. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 value are inserted automatically in an array and the name is given this. Third thing is you are going to supply three things, start, stop, and step. Step can be positive or negative as well. So what I have done, starting value 10, ending value 20, and starting with stepwise, step is 2. So 10, 11 is discarded, 12 is printed, 13 is discarded, 14 is included, 16, 18. 20 is not included because it go towards 20 minus 1, that is 90. So here you can see that it is look like range function that we already discussed in unit 2. Okay. So there are three arguments in range function, start, stop and step, where Stop is essential. And the last one, what are attributes of NumPy array? You learn about how to create it. You learn about other types of creation of an array. Now, some basic attributes I'm going to discuss. So first one is, and dim. And dim gives the number of dimension that are available in an array. Okay, so here you can see that ARR dot endim 
gives one so it means arr array is one dimensional 2d dot and dim gives two so it means it is two dimensional array i'm going to show you how arr equal to np dot array then i'm going to create it a single dimensional array 10 20 30 40 so array is created now i'm going to show you arr dot and dim it shows it is one dimensional array now i am going to show you 2d equal to np dot array in bracket i have to supply two list okay like this 10 20 second row is 30 and 40. Now I am going to check what is the dimension of an array. It should show 2. Sorry, ARR. I have taken 2D dot and dim. Here you can see that. So I think it is very clear to you what is n dim. Same thing, second attribute is shape. It gives the sequence of integers indicating the size of the array for each dimension. Okay, so here it shows four. There is one dimensional array and there are four elements present. And in 2D shape, there are two rows and each row there are two values present. Next one is size. It gives the total number of elements of the array. There is a small difference between shape and size. Size gives the number of elements present while in shape it gives the size of an array for each dimension. If there are two 2D array then for the first row, what is the size of first row? For the second row, what is the size? And so on. But here, you will get the whole size of an array. So for the both, there are four elements. Here you can see that. Four elements in one dimensional, four elements in two dimensional. Okay. And the last one is D type. So, what is D type? It is the data type of the elements of the array. It gives int 62, int 32, float 32, float 64, u32. u32 means unicode 32. So, it gives the type of data like this arr dot d type so it is indicating that it is in teaser 32 okay so that's all for today today we learn about what is numpy library and how to create an array with NumPy package. So there is a class ND array and the function is array through which you can create an array. Other than this, you also learn about other type of creation with the help of some function like ones, zeros, and at last you learn about the attributes of NumPy array.
So I hope you enjoyed the session. In the next class, we will see indexing, slicing, and more things about NumPy array. Till then, thank you very much.